Capelli. She's live this morning at Greer High School. They're showing us a creative way in an yes. effort to recruit drivers. Hey, Christine. This is so neat this morning. I'm so glad you guys just joined us right now. So every time a bus pulls up, you can see one behind me. A couple of the students do just like they've been talking about all morning. They'll go on, get clean off the bus for them, deliver them a, a beautiful card they've made this morning, thanking them for what they do. They have been painting a bus out here also to show appreciation. Such a neat thing. So we've been hearing from lots of different groups this morning about just how helpful, how what a huge resource the bus driver are you know they're not just bus drivers it doesn't end there it doesn't just end with bringing kids to school and then home from the day as well there are a lot of other things so now we have a really special group and a really special teacher I think as well that kind of works with everybody here this morning tell us Miss Barnett just a little bit about the program and how much you just appreciate these bus drivers yes yes we have um, a special program here at our school where students can go into the community and learn their shopping skills and work skills and our drivers are able to take us out during the day to do that, those kinds of things and um, so when when our drivers take jobs with the district they're not just uh, doing a morning route and an afternoon route if they have opportunities to help students all day and you have to recognize some really important drivers yes, you have to yeah. we, um, our morning drivers are Miss Cindy and, and Miss Brenda and they actually are part of our whole day we talk about them all day long but yes. but Miss Cindy will bring blankets when it's cold and put them in their laps in the winter and um, Miss Brenda she just creates such a wonderful environment of uh, respect and kindness for each other but um, but part of our uh, program of going out into the community, we have Frankie, who's driven for us for five or six years, and um, he takes us to help us learn to do our shopping and go to the library and do our banking and all the ways that we want to be able to access our community after we graduate, just like everyone else. And uh, our administration really supports that program, and, and without these bus drivers, they they're the first ones to welcome our students to school and they wish them a good afternoon and if they don't bring them in I don't have anyone to teach and my class is going to be empty so you they are right there she did a beautiful job of telling you if you have any interest in becoming a teacher bus aide they're having that job fair it is tonight five to seven the Sullivan Lifelong Learning Center plenty more at WSBA.com you guys join us in a couple minutes we're going to show you more buses pulling up